Thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Cypher, and not to be confused with the uh, other awesome runner, Cypher. Uh, I'm very grateful to be here at GDQ. Uh, this is the first time Gargoyles is being presented uh, in this type of event, so I'm just, again, extremely grateful to have this opportunity. Thank you so much. Uh, behind me, I have a, a group of awesome individuals that uh, I look up to, and they help push me uh, to get top times in the games I run, if I can get a, a quick roll call. Got Elrock and not Mike. We have Apollo, Angry Lanks, Junkyard Dave. Yep. So with that said, I'm going to get ready to start. But quick shout outs really quick, if I may, uh, just to uh, the Solid Frog Network for giving me a platform to run this on and attain my first world record. Uh, uh, Substyle and the Strider 2014 community for just bringing me into speed running in general. And so with that said, I'm ready to go. Uh, Timer will start, uh, well, Elrock so, will call it for me. We've got SDA timing for this game, so it'll be on first control of character, so we'll count it down from the fade out of the level one screen. Go ahead and start here, do all this cutscene skipping, and then three, two, one, go. All right, so there's like, in the run, there's like three main techniques that uh, we utilize. The first one I, I dubbed the Juggernaut run. Uh, in which if you do a short hop or a jump and just have Goliath land on the ground, he can take uh, damage from enemies, but like you won't lose his, he won't lose his momentum. So he's able to just continuously, continuously run without getting stopped. It essentially gives him a form of armor. You can run without having to suffer hits done, so therefore it doesn't slow you down. So it's just constant momentum with no fear of inertia. It's really, really strong. Yep. And then the second technique uh, involves Goliath's double jump, which you'll see me do it right here on this little fire right here. It's, it's just as soon as you take a hit from uh, anything, you can immediately do your double jump and cancel the animation that uh, you would receive uh, while taking that hit. Just gives you an extra small jump boost from like, you know, we'll, we'll see if quite a few climbs on the stage because any character with wings is going to have to go up eventually. Yep, so like right there, that first spike skip is an example of me using the second Perfect technique. example, good room too. All right, then the third technique involves, uh, it's sort of in tandem with the Juggernaut run in which uh, as soon as Goliath lands on the ground, normally he has like this uh, animation, like a landing animation that slows him down. You just want to make sure you're holding a direction so that uh, he's able to continuously move and not uh, get stuck in place. And you'll see that on this part here, if they let me get up. <laughs> there we go. These, these archers can be real jerks. Because, I mean, even though you, you can maintain armor, it's kind of hard to do so once you're airborne. So it's best just to dodge. And we're actually going to see another example of that here with this climb. This, this part is actually intended to have the player go from Side, from the tower to tower to make sure you avoid all these shots, but you know who has time for that? We just need to get up there. No time at all. No time at all. <laughs> so we're here when we come to our first boss. Standard teleporting boss. These tend to be a bit of a nuisance, but this one's actually a bit easier than your teleport boss. You're going to do your highest damage attack, which is this pounce. After four hits, that's just going to put him away. The pattern is actually really easy because if you maintain your spot at the top two platforms, he never goes down to the bottom platform. So we move on to stage two from here. Yep. And right in the beginning here, we use like... Floor is lava. The, yep, <laughs> the floor is lava. We utilize the juggernaut run just to get by that really smooth. And then I'm going to do a quick, or attempt a quick clip here that Been Gentle Giant... This elbow skip. Gentle Giant 85 discovered. Uh, it's very hard skip, it's pixel perfect. Basically, you have to phase his elbow right into the side of the wall there. But you have to do it before you reach the wall. It's, it's fairly difficult, but he's gonna go with the backup chair, it looks like. No, I, I got oh, it, I got it. Okay, I got okay, it. Okay, okay. Right up through there for the next one. You're going to see a bit of damage boosting here, also from these fireballs here in a bit. Not too much of them here, but they'll be along. Yeah, in a later section, mm. the third section Get of this level. Here. But this is uh, another vent skip that we got nice. on the first try there. Good job. And so now, Zip along. on this stage, you'll we'll come across uh, two ground clips where Glyph is just going to air dive through the ground and we're able to skip chunks of this uh, section. Like the first one's coming up right here. Nice. And then the second one, if it's kind to me, if it's kind to me, <laughs> come on, if it's kind to me, <laughs> there, there we go. go. And now here is where we're gonna do the, the first fireball skip where normally you're supposed to 
ride these what I call like demonic strawberries to get to the, <laughs> this ledge here. Instead, we're gonna just uh, ride the fireball. So you can get this here. Yep. Nice. And now we're on the second the boss. room. Very impressive looking boss you're gonna see here, but it's actually the easiest boss in the game because here's where we invoke tickle strats. Call him elbow, everybody. Yep, tickle, tickle. Oh, uh, oh. broke it. Get him again. <laughs> he made fun of me. He didn't like me making fun of him. There we there go. There we go. So now, fast forward to uh, present day, AKA 1994. The year when everything stopped mattering. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So now we're in the city. And this, this level is mostly, at, at present time with the speed run, mostly execution. We haven't found any uh, really big uh, tech yet, but we're hoping new runners will help us find it. This room right here is this a room is trap. very dangerous. If you don't maintain, you saw there, if you don't maintain proper armor through that room, you will get touch of death because those enemies do a lot of damage. They will kill you very, very quickly. Yep. So now that that's out of the way, we can just... Not, we don't have to worry about everything else. That's that's the main like deadly room. Dive well. through ceilings like you do. Yep. Love those jump boosts. There's the there's there are items in a couple of stages where you can pounce on them and it just sends you four times as high as your standard jump. Quite useful to have. Maintain this. Come on, All good right. stuff. Good stuff. And now we just gotta hope we won't get shot out of the air by these flying sentries. And I'm gonna do a little risky jump here. Right here. Okay, we grabbed it. Nice job. Very nice job. Dive on through. Nice Good stuff. And now we just have a, a really tall climb where uh, we just want to stay ahead of these air sentries. And now's a good time if we want to read some donations till I get to the top. All right, well, we have a $10 donation from Gentle Giant. Hey, Cypher and a couch. Good luck on the run, buddy. I know you'll kill it. So happy to see Gargoyles at AGDQ and no one better to be showing it. Donation to Runner's Choice. Thank you, General. Uh, forgive me. Uh, I, I have to say, General Giant and Kavik, they put this game on the map. If not for them, I, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm thankful to them for having the vision. Still remember Giant crusading for this game to be a speedrun game, even as little as just under a year ago. Yep. And now it's in a GDQ. It's pretty amazing, actually. It's also just a, such a cool game. Yeah. Lots of neat mechanics. Up we go. Here's the top. We're going to drop in on our next boss. And this guy can be uh, a run killer. He's like the first true run killer uh, It's kind of a, speed run. It's kind of a weird boss because you have these appendages that force you to actually deal with them before you can fight him. So it's kind of annoying that you have to get rid of some stuff that's outside the grid, but get some cool some cool hits here like that one right there like i love that dive to the side and how you cling there and from there it's just more tickle strats tickle 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 he does have a couple of attacks he can do that can interrupt the tickle this is actually the better of the two we're act but then it's like he's gearing it for the worst one okay never yeah, mind. he's being a bit of a jerk but we got it he's got another one where he can fire lasers from the tail and it just spreads hit boxes everywhere it's not fun to have to put up with not fun at all good boss fight though fall through the air all right, so now on this stage, you'll definitely see the Juggernaut run uh, utilized to like full effect. This stage is the Juggernaut run. Yes. It's just going across a train. It's very, it's very linear. Not a lot of climbing. It's just lots of side to side. That was a weird pause though. Oh, oh a little too much damage. That's unfortunate. If I remember correctly, um, much like I think it's Aladdin for the SNES, damage carries over from level to level. Like you don't start a new level with, with max health. So health management becomes even more important. We have to take stuff like that into account. Of course, you're taking a lot of a lot of damage when you're doing armor runs and such. So health pickups are very, very important to maintain. All right, and now we're in the hardest boss of the speed run. It's essentially three waves of these drones. And as I tell anybody, if it, if a boss has wings, you're gonna have a struggle because there's generally gonna be a lot of randomness involved with what they do. They may wait you out. They may go invincible. They might even just disappear from the screen and make you wait 30 seconds. That's the best back. one. <laughs> That's the actual best one. Because nothing says goodbye run like 10 seconds of lost time. Oh. You can't do anything about 
Oh, man, that dodge, though. Good diving. Nice. All right, and now they're bossed here. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Nice of these red to match, too. Come on. There we go. We got him. Nice shot. These guys can hit you a lot very, very quickly. Yeah, so they can make through that death list. Yeah, they can own you, own you really bad. So now we're on the final stage here, the final uh, complete stage. And uh, we have some really interesting tricks on this stage as well. Through so this stage, we're actually going to see our first intentional deaths, but we'll get to that here soon. This first start is standard factory, conveyor belts, elevators, lava waterfall, you know, the basics. Avoid some of these enemies to try not to take too much damage. So usually we'll take an intentional death here. I'm going to try to survive it, hopefully, so I can take an intentional death on the next screen. These flame oh, jets. Didn't get it. These flame jets are a, a bit of a hassle to try to get up. Okay. That so. happens sometimes. So we'll just take this death here, use the iframes to climb up the wall. And then now here, this is, uh, as of the current speed run, it's the hardest trick to pull. So we take an intentional death so that we can get those iframes again. Yeah, you can't, you can actually stay on your character because, you know, there's no blink animation or anything. But as soon as you come back from a death, you're invincible for a good second and a half to two seconds. So you've got enough time to get halfway up, and then you have to work your way up the rest. It looks like we're gonna... Oh, we were right there. We were right there. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, that might have been too early. Oh, no, I fell. No, I'm gonna try it one more time, one more time, one more time. And then you might hear me say, I'm gonna try it one more time after that again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to go the, the older fast route now, but uh, I'm glad that I at least tried it, I mm. attempted it. So. it, it, it Cyber's not wrong. It's, it's very, very tough. You need to make sure your, your double jump cancels are really on point. It's, it, it can be tough. Yeah. All right, so now we have to ride this platform. If you didn't take that side climb there, like this, this room could take probably like three to four four minutes I think so yeah taking that climb that I was trying to do saves a lot of time okay so now we avoid these furnaces room is fairly straightforward you just you don't want to get knocked off these platforms because if you take one well not from the, those projectiles but these sentries shoot you you'll go through the platform and you can potentially die. So we want to get away from these guys as quickly as we can. Yeah, he's trying to follow me. Leave me alone. All right. Pests. Yes. Get rid of them all. Okay, so now this is sort of a repeat of that city climb, but now we have a big old pit beneath us. If we fall, we could die here, but let's go ahead. Get up here nice and smooth. Yeah, that was nice. All right, so Very now. Very nice climb. Watch out for that vet because it can push you through the ground there. And then normally you're supposed to ride that vet through this little flame maze here, but instead, oh, ow, 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 okay. Yeah, instead you can just run through. It's a mix of using the juggernaut run and all the other techniques we've used. So that was a really good climb there. Oh, and this guy is gonna, okay. Here's another point where we take an intentional death so that now we can, climb this wall here and now we just skip one third of this last section of this stage clip through this wire here and through that we just skip two thirds of the stage plant our feet in case we fall and die and need to reset we want to be able to spawn back at that last point and oh my god why oh a robot got in the way okay shoulder charge shoulder let me through it's drones man yeah okay there we go all right so now we're on the final section of the run in which now we have to climb a little bit more, face some evil robotic dogs. Uh, 
So one thing I, I failed to mention is that when you're fighting these bosses, you want to use your strong attacks uh, as much as possible and definitely make sure your strong attack is the first attack that you commit to these enemies. Uh, Cause like when I first hit that Eye of Odin, uh, that first damage that it received is going to impact the final fight that I have with Demona coming up at the top here. So like you can see, she's already lost like half her health. Mm. These guys actually affect her health total, which is certainly kind of unique among games. I don't know too many that rely on their henchmen to be able to determine how much health they have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of different. Okay, so now we're on the final fight. Here we have Demona, who's about 50-50 in terms of being a boss. You've got some pretty straightforward patterns. This turret's a little annoying, but can actually deal with it, but she also has, much like any boss I mentioned earlier with wings, just a lot of randomness. There's a there's an attack she has where she can just not completely go invincible, but she just basically becomes just a flying hitbox where she just moves around the screen like so. Yeah, so she's in her go. second form, and time will occur on, upon the second hit. She'll be ready on time. Doesn't have too much health left, so. Uh oh, come on. Whenever she's done. <laughs> so one hit, and then if I get the second one. Two, time. Awesome, awesome. The current world record right now is 1308. I, I got that maybe about like a week ago, I think. It was within the past week. Yeah, yeah. within the past week. So I'm, I'm comfortable and happy with that 15. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, this has been an experience. I'm extremely grateful. Just some final shout outs uh, to my loving wife who supports me in playing my games. Hey, love. <laughs> hey, my love. So, uh, and to also my family and friends back home, my work family, Andrew, Ornella, uh, Alvin. Hi, everybody. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, my, my two nephews, Eric and Zachary, who I love dearly, and my, my grandmother uh, at home, who's uh, one of the strongest people that I know. So thank you, everybody. And uh, again, just uh, thank you for having me here today. And thank you to my couch. Thank you, Elrock, so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for pushing me, you know, to get You're those top times. Glad I'm you're done. here.